The second thing I want to show you has to do with graphics, of course. As you know, we care a lot about photorealistic graphics. And we see no reason why industrial design should end at the physical construction of the car. Industrial design should extend all the way into all of the digital electronics. What you're looking at here are not pictures. These are real-time computer-generated images, images using exactly the same algorithms in the same system that was used when we showed you the car just now. Now, you're looking at chrome, you're looking at jade, you're looking at plastic, you're looking at crystal, um, you're looking at uh, gold, copper, uh, you've got um, ceramic, uh, gosh, uh, you have uh, rubber way on the end, you have marble, you could just see what the materials are. And the light is bouncing off of it in such a realistic way because everything has been physically modeled. Let's just change a couple of things real quick and show people what's possible. I love the fact that, that um, Sean, if you rotate a little bit so that we could see through the crystals. I, I love the crystal. You, you're seeing reflections through everything, of course. Are you gonna change something? Okay, one more and then we're... Were you gonna do something, Sean? Yeah, I've changed a couple. Oh, you did? What, what else would you like to see? Oh no, this is fine, this is fine. I was just trying to keep up with you. I was trying to figure out what you were gonna do. Okay, so this is, this is using physically based computer graphics so that we could simulate and render photorealistic objects and so that we can extend this capability into the car. So today I want to show you a brand new technology for Tegra K1 VCM that we like to bring to the automotive industry. It's called Project Mercury. Project Mercury is intended to make a configurable, customizable, and a photorealistic environment for industrial designers to extend their industrial design artistry into the digital dashboard. Okay, computer graphics is going to be like you've never seen before. And so over here, let's come over here, and Justin, why don't you tell us what you've got? Hey, Jensen, I'm thrilled to help uh, present Project Mercury because this is a year-long labor of love by our team, and it really represents the first time we're bringing physically accurate gauges, automotive gauges, um, into the car. So the reason we're showing all these parts here instead of presenting it all neat and tidy up on the screen is because we want you to understand that this is, this is very real and there's different physical pieces here. So if you look at this, this piece right here, this is our um, K1 automotive development environment. And this up here is an automotive grade, uh, high definition display that would go behind the steering wheel for the instrument clusters themselves. And so these two parts would actually go into a car. This represents a K1 tablet that you might have at home or at a showroom that would let you configure. So you can see it's actually running Android, which is totally different than something that would be behind the steering wheel for, for gauges themselves. So let's start by looking at, at this part that would be in the car, because this is ultimately what's the most thrilling part of this. So as we zoom in on it, you can start to see the detail of the materials. And as you were talking about, Jensen, we've been using you know, physically accurate materials to uh, render designs for the exterior of vehicles for a long time. So what we're doing here is we're taking those exact same materials called MDL, and we're putting them inside the car. So you can see up here brushed nickel. Uh, this is like a powder coat here, uh, shiny titanium. It's, uh, it's very highly detailed, and I, I welcome you to come to the demo room and get a very much closer look. Well, let's, let's, config, let's configure something. Okay. Let's make something for ourselves. Okay. So right before I, I'm going to drop down and configure it, I just want to point out that we've got um, film quality details to this. We realize that something to look realistic has to be uh, nearly perfect. 
So uh, we can see this is all 3D, depth of field, refraction on the glass, illumination from the environment. We can change the environment and create warm glowing lights that you might see inside of the car. So dropping down to this configuration that you might have inside of your room, um, living room or maybe at a showroom as you purchase a car, you can see we have the gauge right here in this location here. And there's different parts to it. You can see powder coat is selected and the outer ring is selected right here. So if I wanted to change that a little bit, for, uh, perhaps I could change that outer ring to like a shiny titanium. You can look at the uh, sample material here and we can change it. Maybe we want it highly brushed and soft effect, or maybe we want it highly reflective. Going back over here, we can check out other types of materials. This is a smooth rubber. Maybe we'd like it to be highly bumpy. I can zoom in on this a little bit tighter and get a good look at this bumpy white rubber that we're using. Another part of the gauge here is this accent color. And so I can click on that and see that it's brushed nickel. I could, for example, change the color of it to red or blue, or maybe just pick something else entirely. Moving past titanium, powder coat, maybe red. And powder coat's very diffuse. It's not reflective at all. So it's, it's very pretty right there. So the last thing I'll change. Justin, this is just our design. That this is a, 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 a platform called UI Composer for, for designing this digital dash system. And um, a car company can import their own, own design of, uh, of a digital dash and whatever uh, wild and crazy and really, really uh, beautiful designs that they, they can yeah. import. Um, that uh, comes into the UI Composer and then we can help them as a result, turn it into a running digital dashboard. Yeah, and so these materials are our materials, but let's say a, an automotive company had their car paint, their uh, fabrics, their leather, things like that. They could uh, scan and import those directly into here and use those uh, as they are. So if we want to just finish things up, we can go back up here and see what we've created in the environment. Um, and maybe I'll turn off the background so that it looks like it would actually be inside of their vehicle and switch through a, a few different sets. We can see that we've got a wide variety of different capabilities here. And maybe we finish on this and you can sort of compare. What's interesting is we've got kind of a scratched up metal here, scuffs on here, and we can compare the real physical metal we have here with what's being presented inside of these gauges. You can see the reflections are similar and we really believe that this is something physically accurate. And, and this is a glimpse of the future. Um, we uh, uh, aim for perfection. We see areas we can continue to improve always because that's what we do. But um, that's really I, cool. I think this is going to be exciting. That's terrific. I think I just lost my voice. <laughs> do you want me to wrap All up? All right, for no, you? no, no. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Justin. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I was so impressed, it took my breath away. <laughs> Congratulate the team. This has been a, a year's endeavor. Uh, we, gave, we gave Justin and the team <clears throat> the dream of bringing photorealistic rendering to cars, something that we do in supercomputers in the cloud. We wanted to be able to use exactly the same material library, it's called MDL, the same material library that car companies use to drive the, 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 the styling of, of uh, their cars and the rendering of their cars want to be able to use that same exact library in a real-time way in this mobile processor we called the Tegra K1. And uh, they've been working their butts off. And run. I'm just so pleased with the results. This is really groundbreaking work. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That's Tegra K1.